Hi, this is Mr. Clay Camp, and uh, I'm going to start making some videos with you guys to work your way through statistics. This is going to be the most fun you've ever had in a math class. It's super cool math class. What we're going to do in here, you'll never ask the question, when would I use this in the real world? Every single problem, every single example that we're going to do is a real world problem that has been done by somebody somewhere. Okay. Well, statistics is the science or the art of data. Okay. Statistics is much different than algebra, geometry, trig, calculus. It doesn't really follow that same linear path. It's kind of its own little standalone math class. Um, more and more in society today, statistics is used more than other types of math. We're going to use st statistics in any sort of business, any sort of uh, uh, technology, any kind of sales. Anywhere you look, statistics is being used. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to get a set of data and then we're going to try to make sense from that data. We're going to try to use the, the information at hand to answer certain questions. There's no solving for X or what is Y equals or what is the slope of this line? I shouldn't say that. We'll talk about slope a little bit. But in general, we're going to look at how is math applied to the real world and in sense of data everybody wants data you you turn on your phone they're gathering data you turn on your computer they're gathering data everybody wants you to do a survey or answer this questionnaire for them or they want permission to access your phone why data gathering that's what drives the world right now is data so this class is going to help you in everything you do whether you go into business or english or math or whatever you decide to do this course is going to be very beneficial for you in the future all right so statistics the science and art of collecting analyzing and drawing conclusions from the data so we're going to get a whole bunch of numbers and we're going to first figure out how do we gather the data because if we don't gather the data in a good way then it's meaningless okay and then we're going to analyze the data what is this data telling us okay and then we're going to come to conclusions from the data Let's start here. I'm going to ask you guys to download your guided notes. And as we go through these videos, you should see what you need to fill in those guided notes. It will be an assignment. It will be worth points at the end of the end of each unit. So please pay close attention to anything in the green boxes or anything that seems important as we go through the video and the slides. Please keep up and fill out your guided notes. In statistics, we need to be able to speak the same language. Okay? We need to be able to talk about what it is that we see. We can't say, oh, yeah, you see that number right here? We need terminology that's going to go with each idea and topic. So if we can't speak the language, we won't be able to talk statistics. So that's how we're going to start with a few quick definitions. Okay? What is statistics? As, we, as I said on the previous slide, it's the science and art of collecting, analyzing, and drawing conclusions from the data. All right, so again, this would be something you'd want to put into your guided notes. An individual and a variable. So we need to, when we say an individual, what are we talking about? A person? Not necessarily a person, but an individual is an object described in the set of data. So if we have a whole bunch of numbers, each of those numbers in the data set came from an individual. An individual could be a person, it could be an animal, it could be a thing. Uh, we could be talking about high school students. We could be talking uh, about great white sharks. We could be talking about paper clips. It, it just depends on what it is that we want to analyze. Okay? And then a variable is an attribute that can take different values for different individuals. So I may, I may be measuring the length of great white sharks. The variable would be the length of the shark. It changes from one individual shark to another. The variable may be the height of, or it may be the weight of great white sharks. It may be the height of human beings. It may be the shoe size of toddlers. It, whatever it is that we want to study, the variable is the different value that each individual would take. Okay? There's two types of variables that we're going to talk about over and over and over again. We're going to talk about categorical variables, and we're going to talk about quantitative variables. Okay. So 
you guys have seen these terms before, I'm sure. Categorical, you probably heard that it's called qualitative. We're, we're going to talk about it as categorical. Categorical variables assign labels that place each individual into a particular group or category. For example, male or female, Democrat, Republican, um, Honda or Toyota. Uh, lots of yes, no questions. You can think about a categorical variable as any variable that you would answer the question with a word. What's your favorite color? Blue. Oh, that's categorical. I can't put a numerical value to it. It makes sense that you fit in one of several categories, pencil or pen, right? Are, are you desktop or laptop? Okay. Do you go Samsung or iPhone? Categorical variables. Okay. The other type of variable we're going to talk about is quantitative variables. Quantitative variables are variables that are more commonly used. Uh, quantitative variables are, are variables that take on a numerical value such as how old are you, how tall are you, what's your GPA, how many pieces of pizza do you eat on average. Quantitative takes numerical values, okay? Numerical values for quantitative, categorical, you fit into one of several categories. Okay? So we need to know these terms so that we can talk to one another. An individual is, is the object that is described in the set of data. It could be a person, an animal, a thing. The variable is the, the numerical value or the attribute that we give to that individual. Well, what kind of variables are there? Categorical, they do not take numerical values. You fit into a category. And quantitative, they do take numerical values. Okay? Now, once we get the data set, what are we gonna do? When we meet a set of data, we need to do something with that set of data. What are we gonna do first? Well, we're gonna look at it, the distribution of this set of data, and that tells us what values the variable takes and how often does it take those very those values so uh, the distribution of a data set tells us what values there are and how often each of those values appears okay what are we going to do with this distribution well we're going to describe it two ways we're going to describe it graphically and we're going to describe it numerically how do we analyze this data, which is what this box is going to look at right here? We'll begin by examining each variable by itself. Then we're going to study the relationships between the variables. We're always going to start, every time we meet a set of data, we're going to start with a graph. And that's what we're going to spend most of our time on in Unit 1 is what types of graphs are we going to be looking at. So it's nice to have a visual picture of what the distribution looks like. So we're gonna start with a graph or different graphs, and then we're gonna add numerical values to those graphs. So we're gonna start visually, and then we're gonna describe it numerically.